Hey guys, Mark here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make Sora 2 video ads that absolutely print. Here's a quick sneak peek of one of the video ads we're gonna be creating today. Steroid creams and my eczema. It works on your face and body. Yes, that is 100% AI, 100% Sora 2. Now let's get into actually how to do it and we'll watch the full ad at the end of the video. So the process for creating Sora 2 videos is very simple. It's actually five steps. The first step is you wanna identify swipe. Next, you wanna write the script. Next is you wanna storyboard the ad and I'll explain exactly what that is in a second. Number four is you wanna actually generate the prompts for Sora 2 and then the final piece is you actually generate and create the clips on Sora 2 and piece them together into a fully cohesive ad. That is it. And you can do all of this and make the ad that I just showed you at the beginning of this video in like under an hour, no problem. All right, so let's begin with the first step, which is going to be identifying a swipe. A swipe is literally just a ad that is running for a competitor that is performing very, very well that you want to emulate. Don't rip it one-to-one. -one. It's a great way to get... <laughs> DMCA'd and a bunch of terrible things happen to your ad account. Don't do it. Just identify the top performing ads, take inspiration and use that to create your new creative. So my favorite place to do that is my software, Get Hooked. If you want to get a trial for this, you can click the link in the description. But the cool part is like, this is basically the Facebook ads library on steroids. And if you look over to the left here, you can select filters to identify specifically ads that are winning and a bunch of other criteria. So for this example, I'm going to select four and five star ads, videos, status is still running, language, I'm going to put English. And last thing you can't it because my fat ass face is in the way, but it's going to be the video length. I want to choose videos that are under one minute long. All right. So I select all of these pieces of criteria. Now let's go ahead and move forward. All right. So I spent a little bit of time scrolling and I found this ad here that is a bunch of different, highly unique clips. And I think it'll be a great challenge to make this sore through video about. Check it out. I was so skeptical, but yes, Arctic Plans got rid of my acne in a week. I'm 28 and I struggled with acne for eight years until I found this. Now you're not going to find this product in a drugstore. It's not a prescription that comes with crazy side effects been there we'll never do it again it's totally natural no harsh chemicals and it's stopping me from ever taking accutane again you want to get this bomb it's made from arctic herbs and it's from norse organics it's extremely potent because there's no water or fillers in it so you just need a small amount and it's got sea buckthorn extract and marigold oil in it which actually kills the bacteria that causes the acne it targets the root cause and prevents acne from coming back i like to kill acne and redness ritual because it includes this moisturizer that literally makes my skin glow all day long and this scrub that's made with rose flower that's super gentle and clears out all my- All right, so now that we have the swipe identified, um, we can actually move on to the next step. See how easy that was? Boom. Done. Now, the second step in the process is going to be to actually script the ad, which is where you take the swipe and you take the transcript from that and you just use AI to rewrite it according to your specific brand identity guidelines and what you actually believe and stand for. Now, my favorite process for writing AI copy, it's going to be stupid easy. The first thing you're going to want to do is go through this foundational docs SOP. All right. I've done this countless times on my channel. So if you don't know how to do it, I can't help you, but it's literally spoon feeding exactly what to do using AI. And what it's doing is deep research to understand what are the real emotional triggers that gets your audience to actually convert because most people write copy at a surface level. And the reason that your ads aren't converting is simply because the way that you're writing is not actually speaking to people. So the foundational docs process completely removes that as an excuse for why your ads aren't working. So I'm going to go through this and what will happen is you'll get an output of four documents, your research doc, your avatar doc, your offer brief, and your necessary beliefs document. You're going to take all four of those documents. Then we're going to go to Claude.ai. We are going to go to projects and we are going to select new project. You can call this project whatever you want just know that it's going to be around creating the script for your ads. Now that we're in the project, first thing we're going to do is go to the instructions. Now for the instructions, what you want to do is take this SOP that I have here for creating the instructions specifically surrounding your brand and then paste it directly into the instructions. Okay. So if you want access to this document, that is the SOP for creating the instructions for this Claude project, go to my IG, it's at Mark Builds Brands and DM me the word Sora, S-O-R-A, and I'll send it to you along with every other resource with this video. So I went through and filled this out. This is all the details here. I'm just going to copy this, paste it directly into the Claude project. And then the only other thing we have to do for this Claude project to work is we're going to go to the files and we're going to upload all of our foundational documents. That is it. It's so incredibly simple, super duper easy. And let me show you how it works. So now we're going to go back to get hooked to that ad, that swipe that we saved. We're going to go to the transcription, which is auto generated by AI. We're just going to hit copy, go over into our Claude project, going to paste that. And then one stupidly simple line right above it. And by the way, this is so idiot proof, like it's insane. 
explain, you don't need prompt engineering skills when you have a really solid foundation built with a Claude project. You just don't because you already did all the hard work, the foundational doc, the instructions, it's already done. So you can just talk to it as if it's a human being that's writing copy for you. So for example purposes, I literally just said, can you rewrite this ad for my brand? Stupid simple. All right. And then you're just going to hit enter. And what it's going to do is reference all the knowledge in that Claude project to rewrite your ad script from scratch based off of a already pre-existing proven winner. And boom, just like that, we have the entire script. If you want, you can go in and chief it. I would highly recommend that. But for example purposes, I'm just going to move pretty quickly and move to the next step. But look at that. We literally just already have two steps done. Now we have to move on to step number three, which is storyboarding the ad. Now, the main constraint with Sora 2, if you use it in the platform itself, is there's a limitation of the max length of clip that you can use is 15 seconds, which means if we're creating an ad in this case, that's around 60 seconds long, we have to individually generate around four separate Sora clips. And so what that means is you have to take Take your script and segment it into specific sections because each output is going to return a specific clip that you piece together to fully form the ad. If you skip this step, what's going to happen is you're going to have terrible clips. You're going to have clips that are trying to match like a UGC versus like a B-roll clip, and it's just not going to look good. So this step is incredibly crucial. But once again, I have it stupid simple for you guys to understand. So for storyboarding, all I like to do is take my script, paste it into a Google Doc and segment it into individual clips. So for example, the first clip is a creator walking through a drugstore. I only have those specific lines associated with that clip. The second is going to be B-roll of like the inside of a pharmacy, like a CVS. The next is going to be a straight up typical UGC clip. And then the final is going to be another UGC clip from our main UGC creator. Okay, that's it. It doesn't need to be super complicated, but you need to give details around every individual clip that you're using. And this is like storyboarding 101. You could take it so much farther, but this is just a good foundation for you to understand how to actually use this technology. Because if you don't storyboard, it's not going to work very well. And boom, just like that, we got step number three complete. Now we move on to generating the prompts for SOAR 2 to actually function and generate good outputs. This is probably the most difficult piece, but once again, I got y'all covered. All right, let's do it. You are going to go back to Claude. You are going to go to projects and you are going to create a new project once again. This one is going to be specifically for SOAR 2 prompting. All right, that is it. That is the sole goal. You can call it whatever you want. All right, let's move on. Now for this project, you do not need to upload any knowledge, but what you do need to upload is instructions. Once again, I have it all already laid out for you. There's literally nothing that you need to change about this prompt. Like you don't need to go in and edit anything. We're just going to copy all of it, go into the project and paste it. Now we're going to go back to our storyboarding document and we're going to take this first initial portion of the script. We're going to copy it, paste it directly into Claude right here and then do a few spaces. And what you want to do is before you send this prompt, you want to give it a little bit of guidance and detail about the kind of clip that you were trying to create. Now, if I was super duper extra, I could go into like Gemini, which is a multimodal model, which means that it can analyze videos and you can have it extract like metadata and everything around a specific video. If you want to do that, you totally can. What I have found is that simplicity often works very, very well, especially when it comes to SOAR 2. So in this case, the first clip is this woman walking through a CVS. So I would put a very basic prompt like this. I want a young, attractive, blonde, 25 year old woman at CVS looking at her phone camera that says the following energetically at a fast pace. Again, I could go deeper into this, but simplicity is king and creating that feedback loop where you get a clip, you see if it's what you want, you make adjustments and you just continue that process. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter here. We have Opus 4.1 selected. You don't need to use 4.1. You could totally use Claude Sonnet and it'll do the job just fine. And as you can see, it creates this entire kind of prompt here that we can literally copy and paste directly into SOAR 2. So that's what we're going to do. All right. But now once again, we have this four step created. Now we can move on to the final piece, which is actually creating the clip on SOAR 2. All right. So we're here in SOAR 2. I'm going to paste that entire long prompt directly into SOAR 2. I'm using SOAR 2 Pro. It's not necessary. It's very easy to remove watermarks if that's what you're worried about. There's like a million websites that do that. Landscape, we're going to do portrait. Resolution, we're going to keep it at standard and duration at 15 seconds. So I'm going to hit enter and let this cook. All right, so we got the first clip already created. Let's take a little peek, see how it looks. Okay, so I quit steroid creams and my eczema like literally exploded until I found this Nordic balm with Manuka honey that actually heals your barrier. I'm 27 and I've battled eczema since I was a kid steroids thin my skin and made flares worse. I have no adjustments to make to this. This is like the very first try and this is exactly what we got. This is perfect. Now let's move on to the next clip. So we're going to copy this portion of the script, paste it directly into Claude project, get a few enters and then write a little blurb of the exact content that we want. Now this clip is not UGC. This is actually B-roll of the inside of a pharmacy and showing like a steroid medication on a counter. All right. So once again, simple prompt hit enter. So we're going to take this prompt, pop it into SOAR2. And while that's going, let's actually move on to the next one and do just all these prompts prompts 
at once. I believe you can run a total of three sword two generations at one time. At least if I do more than that, it doesn't work for me. But now we're getting into the actual UGC. So the same process as always. I'm not going to show it start to finish, but copy it, add into the Claude project, give details of exactly what you want, and then send it directly to sword two. All right, so we got our first UGC clip. Let's take a look and see how it came out. Okay, Freya Organics is different. It's from Norway, made with Manuka honey that's been used for like centuries to heal skin. It's not watered down. It's pure concentrated healing. The Manuka honey fights inflammation and bacteria naturally while Nordic Botanicals Okay, you get the idea. This is fucking insane. Let me show you one of the other clips I made. Now, this clip is actually some B-roll of the product actually in use. And just take a look at the prompt here. You can see I switched it up a little bit. With the B-roll, it's incredibly important to keep it stupid, stupid simple. Check this out. So it's not perfect, but it is a amazing clip to use in B-roll back to back. You can do it in the fully packaged product. You can do it actually using the product. You can do it applying the product to your face, but then it doesn't really become B-roll. That's actually like UGC. But at this stage, I have completed every single individual clip here. Let's finally put it all together, cross this you know, shit off. We did all five steps and look at the fully finished ad we created. Okay, so I quit steroid creams and my eczema like literally exploded until I found this Nordic balm with Manuka honey that actually heals your barrier. I'm 27 and I've battled eczema since I was a kid. Steroids thinned my skin and made flares worse. Now you're not gonna find this product in a drugstore. It's not a prescription that comes with crazy side effects. Been there, we'll never do it again. Okay, Freya Organics is different. It's from Norway, made with Manuka honey that's been used for like centuries to heal skin. It's not watered down, it's pure concentrated healing. The Manuka honey fights inflammation and bacteria naturally while Nordic Botanicals rebuild your barrier. It works on your face and body, absorbs fast, and doesn't leave you feeling like a greased turkey. After years of disappointment, Freya actually worked. My flares are rare now, and when they happen, this stops them fast. 60 day guarantee, so you literally have nothing to lose. So that's pretty damn good. If I had to give a complaint about this particular creative that I made, it would be there's very, very, very slight variations in the character, but that has actually been solved by Sword 2 recently. You can create custom characters. And I was just too lazy to do it for this video. But if you download the actual Sora 2 mobile app, you can create unique characters and character identities that you can continue to reuse over and over again with consistent characters and consistent voices. To me, this technology is absolutely fucking insane. And I think that if you're able to use these ads and create an ad like I just created there, you are on a great path to actually like finally making e-com work and scaling your brand. Now, the one caveat here is just because you have good ads, if you're sending all your ads to a shitty funnel, you're not going to scale, right? So that's why I built Brand Builders Academy because we don't actually just show you all this cool AI stuff with the Sword 2 and everything, but actually the full process A to Z, product, funnel, creative, everything. So if you want to join that, you can fill out an application below, click the first link in the description, and we'll see if you're a good fit. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. This was a long time in the making, and I actually filmed this video, I think, seven total times, but my OBS kept crashing, so we finally made it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Run more ads. Peace.